Finding a car for 500 pounds is difficult enough, but when you have to do it within one hour. That is genuinely our train pulling away. Why am I nervous? I know I've got this in the bag. Oh no, please. Please, no. Hello, welcome to Car Throttle. My name is Alex. I'm Jack. I'm Ethan. And today we're going to be doing a challenge and a race in one. Ethan, explain. Well, Alex is going to be buying a car. And in that time, we, Jack and I, have got to get to Lady Bower Reservoir in the Peak District and it's a race. So what will win? Public transport or buying a car and driving there? Plus finding a car as well. Oh, and yeah. finding a car, yeah, the whole show. Yeah. And this is not a set up or anything like that? No, so this. your journey, public transport, is gonna take how long? Between four and five hours. To drive there, according to Google Maps, three, three hours- Three and a quarter. Three hours, 15 minutes. Yeah. To find a car, that gives me no more realistically than an hour. You've got a maximum budget of? 5,000 pounds. 500 pounds. 500, 500 pounds, okay. Yeah? Thank you. There you go. That's, that's not oh, useful. Right. How about this? Whoever wins gets to keep any money that I don't spend on the car. So if I buy a car for 300 pounds, oh. the winning team okay. gets 200 yes. quid. Let's go. Uh, see you in a bit, good luck. Yeah, I'm climbing bye. this way. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan, what are you doing? So to recap, Ethan and I will have to rely on public transport to take us from Alex's house in West London to Central London before getting on a train up north for the final dash to the finish line at Lady Bower Reservoir. Meanwhile, in that time, I'll have to go full Mike Brewer to not only find, but also buy a £500 car for an immediate three-hour journey north to the Peak District and on to Victory. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Come on, quicker. No, I'm not, I'm not rushing today. Yes, you are rushing. Edwin on the social team behind the camera, I'm going to need you to, to also have a look. I'm on Auto Trader straight away. <laughs> Gotta get a bus. <laughs> Perfect. Also, to keep things fair, I am going to only use a radius of 10 miles and I want to go north. I don't want to go south because that would be a waste of time. We have a Rover 75 Tourer, Richmond, which is five miles away. Uh, large capacity, same owner for 14 years, selling due to ULEZ, MOT due 22nd of this month. I'm just going to give this guy a call. Please pick up, please be home and please be able to sell it. Hello, uh, I've just seen your car for sale on Auto Trader. you're 75. Uh, yes, I've still got it. Ah, perfect, lovely. If I were to come now-ish, would I be able to have a very quick look and quite possibly just take it away? Uh, unfortunately, I'm not around today. Ah, okay, okay. All right. Thanks, Nigel. Okay, yeah, all Goodbye. Right. Bye. I'm not doing any running today either. Well, you have to go. No, we don't have to run. We race. Yeah, I know we're racing, but I don't want to get there too. I don't want to get there too early. So we're just going to be waiting for hours for him to get there. Do I want a Smart 4-2 with a misfire? You <laughs> looking at that. We didn't have the heart to tell you. <laughs> <sighs> no. Uh, there is also another Volvo V40. Brilliant, reliable worker state. Can someone do me a reg check, please, for MIT? So... Oh, God. They're what? like 15 minutes ahead of me now. Otherwise, I'm literally just gonna have to go out on the roads and stop people in their car with shit boxes and say, I will give you 500 pounds right now, just give me your car. <sighs> Finding a car for 500 pounds is difficult enough, but when you have to do it within one hour, actually very stressful, well, yes? MOT was 2016. What? On that Volvo. Oh. <laughs> what do you reckon our chances are today? To win him? Yeah. 100%. Do you think? He's got to buy a car, Ethan. This is the third in the trilogy, isn't it? Of is public it? Yeah. transport races. Yeah, yeah. And how many has he won? Oh, was yeah, it none? none? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, none, yeah. 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 So it's just going to be the same again, isn't yeah. it? Obviously? It's just rinse, repeat for us. Yeah, this is easy. It's just what we do, isn't it? And also, um, they're taking uh, the Ford Focus from the NC500. Do you remember he bought me that fence panel? Yeah. And I broke it up? Yeah. All the wood is still in the back. Perfect. See, all sorts of stuff he's got to sort out of the car before he can even get going. That's excellent. <laughs> There's a Volkswagen Passat in Harrow, which is five miles away. Do you want me to run a check? Yes. 
Uh, just arrived part exchange, clearance vehicle, hence sold as spares repairs, starts and drives, stacks of paperwork, service history, new clutch and flywheel done in June 2020, cam belt and water pump replaced in June, blah, blah, blah. Next MOT, uh, next MOT, June 29th of the 4th, 2022. 263,000 miles. Yeah, fine, fine. Oh, it says home delivery available. Can you, can you get it shipped over in the next 20 minutes? Hello, SKJ, good morning. Hello, mate, I've just seen you've got a Passat for sale. Can I come to you straight away and probably pick it up from you? So it's 11 o'clock? No, it, need, it needs to be sooner, I'm afraid. I need to, um, I need to make a journey and my car's just died. I'm in the address, just behind the address station. Okay, yeah, so you're 35 minutes away north. Okay, okay, that's, that's good. That's very good. I'll get to you for half 10, is that all right? Okay, and the uh, the car drives all right, stops all right? Yeah. Okay, I will see you very shortly. Thank you, mate. Bye-bye. Right, shoes on. Let's get the f*** out of here. Uh, yeah, just had another look at the Passat on Auto Trader. It's, it's blue and it's got tires, so sold. I think, I think this time I'm going to win. Unless Ethan's been sneaky and he's like booked a train or he's done something a bit sneaky. It's a surprise that he doesn't cheat on his wife. Unless he does, but he's so good that no one knows. I hear you, you asking me, Ethan, why are you going to Lady Barrel Reservoir? We're going there because it is at the beginning of the Snake Pass, and the Snake Pass, supposedly, from what we've heard, is one of the best driving roads in England. So we thought, we've got to go and check it out. What would be the best way, or what's the quickest way to get there? Is it to buy a car, drive up there, or to get public transport? We're doing this for you guys, this is science. Like, we do this so you don't have to. You're welcome. So far, so good. Hopefully he's not even found a car yet. 20 minutes remaining. I love his 4D gel number plate. Uh, terrible. The train and the platform. Right, so you know how Ethan and Jack always mess with me and they always have like a hollow victory because they've completely f***ed over. Uh, well, I'm going to play some mind games as well. I'm going to message um, Ethan and Jack and just just tell them a little porky. We're seeing a car at 11 in Richmond. Richmond, I'll say that. But will they see through my lies? That is the question. I don't trust any of them. Don't trust any of them in that team. No. Edwin maybe, trust him like 10%? That's yeah. I trust him the most and now yeah. I still trust him very little. <laughs> Let's spend this whole train journey, the next two hours, dissecting the psychology behind those text messages. <laughs> because it's still January, many of you guys are holding on to those New Year's resolutions. I for one have promised myself to hit six foot by the end of the year. How's that going for you? Not well, Jack, not well. Whereas I have a more realistic goal for 2022, which is to maintain my cars myself. Are you serious? Yeah, why? Oh, oh shit. I'm stuck. <laughs> okay, Jack may have a point, but with this Carly OBD scanner, I can get a full diagnostics report on the health of my car meaning that I can get a potential issue sorted before it becomes an expensive problem. As well as that, you can also see live data such as boost pressure or oil temperatures and clear codes. Ooh. And not forgetting on certain cars, you can unlock hidden features like enabling a digital speedometer, disabling stop start, coding your windows, lights and indicators and turning off your seatbelt reminder. Which I would never do. Nah, not me, no. The point we're trying to make is that Carly gives you control over your car's functionality, as well as giving you the power to diagnose problems and check various engine codes at the side of the road. 
So if it's also your mission to potentially save a lot of money by avoiding a trip to the garage, get yourself one of these by following the link in the description. Date with destiny. Come on, VW. Still can't see the car. Oh, there he goes behind us. Okay, so this is the Passat. I mean, it exists, which is good. And according to the owner as well, you say it's got a full tank. Perfect, so I've got a, a free 50 quid tank. Oh, it's, it's quite disgusting in here, but needs must. Sold. So take a little bit of a gamble. Um, I thought the original route was uh, we would get to Sheffield and then we'd have to get a bus. I was just looking what our next stage was uh, and Google Maps said the quickest way was to get another train. So I've just bought two tickets from here, Jack, to then get another train from Sheffield to Bamford. And then we're very close. There is a silver lining if we lose. It's less bus time. It's more yeah. train time. I'll do anything for less bus time. Yeah. All right, so here we go. First impressions after the first 10 seconds are, wow, what a peach. It actually genuinely feels all right. All the electric windows work. I've even got a sunroof, which is amazing. And the best thing about this car, I've got pretty much a full tank of diesel, which is absolutely ideal. Um, I can probably just do it in a one -er. My ETA currently is exactly two o'clock. Oh, this is too stressful. You're just not even stressed. You're just sitting out. The forfeit isn't you've got to go and jump in a cold lake, so I'm absolutely chill. No, but... The I worst would, thing that's I, going to happen is you don't win some money. But I would like some money. And also, I want that sweet moment of hiding yeah. and then him a bit thinking he's won and we pop out. I have just made one hell of a discovery. This car, my 500 pound Passat, has got cruise control and yes, it works. I don't even need to put my foot on the accelerator. I've got 150 miles to do and it's gonna be very relaxing. <laughs> Hello, Rory. Okay, I don't believe you. I don't, I, you could be there for a lie though. So where are you, are you actually in Richmond or was that a lie? You're, you're on your way, aren't you? I, I do not trust the word that comes out of Rory's mouth. All right, so about 45 minutes into the journey, uh, I don't actually have any complaints with this car. The only thing I will say is that the front and the rear of the car don't feel like they're connected at all. It's, it's a bit unnerving. There's this weird kind of twitch but yeah i'm loving cruise control it's a very quiet quite refined car actually i'm happy with my purchase and i'm confident that finally i will get a victory anyway let's see what ethan and jack are up to shall we we're gonna have a little quick look to see what cars i could have got do you reckon they've gone by auto trader i'm quite excited to see what he gets yeah that's quite interesting yeah that's like we've got no idea well partly because once this video ends we've got to go home in it <laughs> well there's not a lot under 500 pound there's only one in 10 miles. One, two, three, four, four. A Passat 1.9. Been a solid choice. Oh, these are good. Percy the Mighty Passat has just hit 270,000 miles exactly. That is. almost 11 times around the world. You're holding up pretty well, but you are really disgusting. You do need a bath. I think with a deep clean and maybe a service and an MOT, this car, I don't know, dare I say it, worth 1,200 quid? Anyway, yeah, still super happy. Not happy about this traffic. This is uh, really starting to piss me off. M1 can uh, go literally just entered Derbyshire so I don't know if that's good or not good. I have noticed one thing on the Passat, you know where I said it doesn't feel like it's properly connected front and rear. I have a very strong suspicion that the damper is completely f***ed. It feels like the wheel just kind of skips up and down quite a lot. I only got 44 miles left to go. Where Ethan and Jack are I have no idea but I hope they're going through a lot of pain. I hope they're having to run, I hope they've missed their tube, their train, whatever. I just hope they're 
just in a massive pile of shit at the moment. So we just thought we were pulling into Sheffield, so we were just looking out the window to check it was, and it said Chesterfield. I'm like, what? And I was just looking up. We arrived 14 minutes late. It is another 13 minutes to Sheffield. Now our train comes at 14 minutes past one, and we're supposed to get into Sheffield at one. So doing the maths, we have a minute, maybe not, to get this train. If I have not won this already, I mean, it's impossible. I, I have won this already. Unless I break down or crash or something catastrophic happens. But if none of those things happen, then I have won. So I have won. Yeah, well done me. That is genuinely our train pulling away. It's just pulled away. Our train's just pulled away. Well, what's plan B? We have to get the bus. We have to get the bus. <laughs> Currently in Chesterfield. Is that where they film Hollyoaks or something? I think they all talk like this. Hey up bastard, Chesterfield, Aldo. Oh yeah, not much to do around here. I've made it here and that's, that's all right for now. Percy's good, we like Percy. We might have to keep hold of Percy, even though he is a dirty, dirty pig. <laughs> For five minutes. It's a bus stop there, I think. <sighs> ah, we've run like 50 yards. Why do you make me run? I'm so chronically unfit. Same. Who's more unfit, do you reckon? Me, 100%. <laughs> I'm on some pretty gnarly B roads at the moment. Loads of twists and turns, loads of undulations, loads of elevations as well. And I have to say, props to the 130 PD engine. It is really, really talky, very responsive. As we all know, everyone loves a DP, a uh, PD. I wonder where the guys, Thelma and Louise, are at the moment. I really don't think they're as far up as me. Plus, they're going to have to take a bus for the last section as well. So Jack has just seen something. Well, I was just taking a look at the bus times because we noticed that the bus was five minutes late. And um, what time did you suggest that it gets here? Google said it would come in at 13.23. 13.23. Well, there's no 13.23 bus on the Monday to Friday schedule from this bus stop. So someone's lying. And now we're quite worried. Well, either that's lying or Google's lying. Is Google a liar? I don't see any departures to there from here. This part of the Peak District is really, really stunning. And it's easy to forget, isn't it? When you're in your own little work bubble, whatever you do on the weekend bubble, that from London, where I live, a place like this is three hours, 15 minutes away. So why not on the weekend, as in tomorrow or next weekend, just plan to go somewhere different, just go exploring. Cause this, it fills you with just happiness, just seeing a place like this. And it really changes your mood if you're anything like me and you enjoy driving, you know, leave at 9 a.m., get here for 11, or leave at 8, get here, no. No, my maths is shit. And then you can spend a whole day or even a weekend getting out, getting out of London, getting out of the city, because it's important to, you know, reset. So there we go, two victories for me. One, I managed to get the out of London, and two, I finally got a win in the bag. I've done it for the automotive world. Okay, so I've just had a little heart palpitation. Two cars ahead is a bus, uh, and it seems to be going to Lady Bower Reservoir in that direction. I know that Ethan and Jack have to get a bus. I, I honestly think that they're maybe half an hour, 45 minutes behind me, but there is a bus ahead of me, which has started to panic me a little bit. Hmm. Huh. I, I, I mean, it literally can't be. It literally cannot be them but I really, really, really want to overtake the bus. Why am I nervous? I know I've got this in the bag. There is, there's no, there's no chance. They left at, they left at 10, right? Which means three hours 50. They can't, they can't do it three hours 50. 
Oh, Ethan's quite good at the whole public transport thing, though. This isn't looking good, Ethan. No. This is telling me there's no routes from this stop. So the train has gone and there's no bus. The train has gone and there's no bus. What does that mean? Well, it means we're f It's saying it departed five minutes ago. We were it, here. It didn't, though. It was we yeah. were here. No train, no bus. Our only option is cab, right? Yeah. Still got to Uber it now. Yeah. It's not, I'm, I know this isn't public transport, public transport, but it's our only option. We have so nothing left. He will dispute it, I'm sure, and it will be a fair argument. But I don't, I, we have no other choice, do we? Well, we, he we can't walk there. Eh? No. Oh, one minute away. He's confirmed it. I don't know which way I'm going. <laughs> Bus stop. Okay, so. Uh, uh, uh. Am I going the right way, though? Lady Bell. Shit, no, Lady Bell's that way. Right, so Uber came nice and quickly. Let's kind of save save the day here. Let's start a night in Shining Harbour. This is better than a bus as well. This is so much better than a bus. We've done a bus today. We yeah. had to mix it up. Yeah, we had to. Yeah. A variety is the spice of life. Exactly. You always say that, Jack. I do. You're a very wise man. We should be there in about 23 minutes, which is one minute past two. <sighs> good time. This is good time. And that's not too bad. Like, we've That'll be about four hours, 15, for us 20, door to door from yeah. West London. Well, that's pretty good, isn't it? Door to dam. Door to dam, yeah, nice. But hopefully, hopefully we're there. I have no idea which way to go now. I'm sure I saw Lady Bower sign that way. Do you think we've won it? What's your gut, sorry? My gut says we haven't won it. See, I was confident and now you saying that, now I'm not sure. Oh really? <laughs> I'm like the most uncompetitive person, except when we're doing these yeah, things. Except yeah. when it's versus Alex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Lady Bower, uh, I am going in here. Yeah? Lady Bower car park. I must have won. Surely. I can't, I can't bust. They booted us out well early, that. Yeah, yeah. Are you looking at cars going past? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ah. Is that them? Uh, we've done it, right? There's no way of but we've lost. That turret is the finish line. Yeah, I'm, turret. I'm looking at it as my heart is going. <laughs> Ridiculously. I just got really nervous because I saw I saw two heads. But are they just really short or does the does the gradient go down quite a lot? No no I think it's a gradient, it's a great <laughs> Oh no please. Please no. Are you also second guessing this? Both of you? Are they here? Are they here? I just want to check behind this wall. Are you kidding me? Oh boy. Are you, are you, how? Are you actually, how is this possible? You, what? Hello. Are you, how? How is this even a thing? We went, I drove to the car park. Which car park? Um, up there somewhere. And then oh, we just, yeah. the end he knows the end location. He knows the end location. Oh, well, th well, that's his fault. Though. Well, I forgot the end location. <laughs> and then we faffed and we were like, oh, they're going to be an hour behind. Oh, no. And then you weren't. No. No. So moral victory is mine? No, no, no. As you, you tried to do this last two times, I if, think. If you paid attention, yes, the victory would be yours. To rub salt into Alex's wounds, had he remembered where the finish line was, he would have won by five minutes. In fact, he was driving past the gate to the reservoir at 1.59, and it wasn't until 2.04 that Jack and I arrived there, albeit in an Uber. Either way though, Alex and the Passat were masters of their own downfall, making our victory that bit sweeter. How is this even possible? Tell me your journey. We walked to the station, tube, overground, <laughs> then uh, whatever express all the way to Sheffield, and then uh, we missed the train there, and then we went to the bus stop and we missed the bus there, and then we got an Uber. Shut <laughs> up! Are you ready to get here? 
You got an Uber. That is public transport. You that is public an Uber. Can a public you. get an <laughs> I want you guys to decide, is that public transport? No <laughs> way. Does it transport you? Yes. Can the public use it? Yes. You f I literally like fair play, yeah. but f you at the yeah, same time. Yeah, yeah. I was convinced that I could hide here like Dark and oh no, that's what you we did. See me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jack went, is that there? We're like, <laughs> and we're like, cash, cash it out, cash yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah. I'm so sorry. Is that three? That's yeah, three nil. Yeah, yeah, one, two, that's three. Nil. That's the trilogy. Yeah. That's quite embarrassing. What have you got? Okay, so somewhere in this row of cars is my beautiful steed. Shall we have a little look and see which one you think? It's not this. <laughs> it's this. It's this. It could be this. <laughs> Ignore that. There we go. It's good, isn't it? That's all right. Yeah? That she is purrs. absolutely Amazing. grim. That is so horrid grim. in there. Do you want to know the best thing about this car? Cruise control, mate. Does, Does it? it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And that good. works too. In here, in this section here, it's clean and tidy. The rest of the car is disgusting. How much did you spend? How much? So you want to know how much your winnings are, don't you? I said rough bits. I could hear a rustle. It sounds like 700 quid. <laughs> Do you want to know? Go on then. Well, it was 500 quid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can we go on the Snake Pass? Let's go on my Snake Pass. <laughs> Okay, so here we are on the Snake Pass in um, Percy. Percy the pig. Percy. 270,000 miles on the clock. It looks like it's done that amount. I tell you what though, you say that, but you give this a wash on the outside. I was looking around trying to find all the dents and the scratches. Couldn't really find anything that's yeah. jumping out at me. I don't feel comfortable sitting on the grot. Like my mind is not yeah, comfortable. No, no, you're sitting on uh, a lot of uh, bad memories. <laughs> it's not a black light car, is it? It's just a history. Yeah, there's a whole black folder for oh, it. Oh, wow, that is thick. I've not even opened it yet. I didn't have time. Holy moly. Uh, certificate here of right off. <laughs> Wouldn't care. Doesn't Wouldn't matter. Care. It got me here. Shut up, has it got the original sales invoice? Really? Has it? 17256. 2001. That is mental. 17 grand. Someone cared about this. Yeah. Someone cared about this until not long ago. <laughs> there's everything dating back here from the very beginning. I think it's all its service history. Wow. Wow, this is actually really good. Good old Percy. It cost us like about 110 pounds each, something total. Oh. If it was you and three mates coming up, yeah. which you would fill this car with, yeah. it cost you 125 for, uh, per person to yeah. buy this car. Yeah. Go public transport, it's only 15 pounds cheaper. Yeah. But you have a car at the end. Exactly. Wow. I can actually go adventuring, plus I can drive back home and I can probably sell it for exactly the same price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The only cost that I would incur would be taxing it for a month, because that's the minimum yeah, you can only yeah. do, and insurance. I feel like almost that's like the real victory here today. Now this is like proper snake pass style, isn't it? But even in this, 500 pound, slightly Percy Passat, it's good fun, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's great. How are you feeling in the back there, is it? I'm quite tired, so I'm in danger of falling asleep. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you've had a really tough day, haven't you? I have, yeah. yeah. Sitting in an Uber and all that. I really do like this car, and I think maybe we should hold on to it for a little while, maybe maybe just yeah. tie it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah just give not? it a bit of love. So some suspension, some cleaning. Yeah. And we're good. We'll do something with it. We'll do something. But we'll then do will stuff. it be good then? When, when yeah, it'll be really stuff. good. Yeah, yeah, it'll be really good. And then I think once we've you know, tarted it up a bit. I think this car will be worth like 1,200 quid. Oh, yeah. go on. Oh, the sun. Oh! Ah! Wow. Oh, yeah, this we've is... made the summit. Wow. This is lovely. So another day is done and as you can see we have ended on the awesome snake pass in the Peak District. Are you guys happy with your very hollow victory? Still a victory. Yeah, very happy. I yeah. think the only victory here really is this car. What an awesome machine. So you'll see more of that on the channel in the near future. If you like the idea of that then make sure you subscribe to the channel here. Check out more videos over there from us and the awesome Peak District 
We'll see you next time. All right, let's take old Percy the pig home. Yeah. Who's driving? Me. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>